Breaking right now at four, the father of a Charlotte woman found dead in Mexico, now reacting to the news. Federal officials won't be pursuing charges in what her family is calling a surefire murder. Good afternoon. I'm Brian Blakely. And I'm Annie Satowski. The case of Shanquella Robinson has garnered national attention as her true cause of death still remains a mystery. Queen City News reporter Daniel Pierce is live in Huntersville, where Daniel, we just heard from Shanquella's father. Yeah, and Daniel, we've heard a lot from other family members, but this is one of the only times that the father has ever publicly spoken about this case. What did he have to say? Yeah, well, to take you back on that, the last time that he spoke was at her memorial, which happened just weeks after the news broke that she had passed away. And he told me today that he still does have faith in the FBI, even given the fact that last week they announced that they are not going to be seeking federal charges in this case. Speaking with Bernard Robinson, he said that he does or he was talking with them last week. He, he was told that they do a lot of work, especially a lot of work behind the scenes and that at times they don't release all the information that they have. And he does take some comfort in that, knowing that they are still seeking that evidence. Now, the news that came out last week that no charges were going to be brought against these individuals connected to his daughter's death or believed to be connected with his daughter's death. He is also finding solace at what is happening out here on Betty's Ford Memorial Garden. This right here is where Shanquilla Robinson is buried. That 25-year-old, his daughter, has been resting here for the past 20 weeks. She's laid here with no headstone in that time frame. Bernard said that after weeks of delayed, her headstone finally came in and he was just able to put it in the ground. Now, he is encouraging everyone who has been touched by Shanquilla's story and her family's fight to simply come out here, see it, reflect on it. If you are feeling discouraged, use this as a symbol of hope that there will be justice in this case. Now, uh, off the news of, of what was released last week, I did speak with her father and asked him if he has received that hard copy in his hand of the autopsy report of his daughters. He said that that is something that he is still trying to physically get a copy of. He did say that it was incredibly discouraging to hear the discrepancies between what U.S. coroners found and what was found by Mexican authorities. That is something that he is hoping by having copies of both of these autopsies and having continual conversations, someone might be able to make sense of it all. Live in Huntersville, Daniel Pierce, Queen City News. For the very latest on the Shanquilla Robinson investigation, including a full timeline of her passing, be sure to head to our website, qcnews.com, and you can also download the QC News app to get these breaking alerts sent right to your phone. And we